Alrighty, I think we are officially live. We're gonna have a lazy stream today. I'm kind of feeling icky. So no webcam today, friends, just so y'all know. But today we are working on my spooky Halloween island that I've kind of abandoned for <laughs> at least a week. I've been so busy, I swear, with so much content lately. So I'm gonna try my best to be productive today. We do need to come up with a plan as a community. We need to decide our castle um, vibe. So we're going to definitely be doing some mood board stuff today for sure. We're definitely going to be also working in this area where the spooky castle perspective is. I would like to work on this transitional area and where else? This spot over here. So I think I'm gonna place like a villager maybe in this spot. So I know I wanna work on these two areas. We definitely need to work on transitional stuff. But if I can do it today, because my brain is kind of not here, I guess. <laughs> I've been having um, creative blocks today. So hopefully Animal Crossing will help me get out of this. But my idea for this entry it's kind of like weird i guess because i have like this vision in my head of this like rural overgrown pumpkin field but then you have like castle gates and stuff like all around it 
and like little wagon wheels. So I, I have like this idea, but it's just like getting said idea to work. So hopefully we can come up with something today, like make a mood board. And I think that will definitely help if I can come up with some sort of a mood board to figure out what sort of vibe we want. But y'all give me one second. I'm trying to fix my chat. I've been having chat issues lately. So basically what happens is, and this happened actually on my paleo stream. So like the chat was not active or like working whatsoever. I couldn't see anybody's messages. So I don't mind lurkers whatsoever. But if y'all could occasionally let me know if the chat's working today, that'd be amazing. Just because apparently everybody was chatting in my stream <laughs> and I couldn't see anybody's messages. Like all of my mod team, they were just like, wow, Nora's like really invested <laughs> into her stream. And no, I just couldn't see any of the messages like YouTube wasn't working. So it looked like I was full blown ignoring everybody in my chat. It was so embarrassing, <laughs> but I think it's okay now. Like I refreshed it to be safe. So with all that being said, I do want to say welcome into the stream. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day or night. And I will go down to the chat and say hello to everybody that has already popped in. Um, hello, Sam. Hello, Peter. Hello, Milk. Uh, who else is in here? Jet. Hello, Jet. Good to see you, friend. Kaylee, welcome in. Brickby Gaming, welcome in. Zelda, welcome in. And Amanda, hello, hello. If there was anybody else, uh, I am so sorry if I missed your, your message. Like I said, I've been having YouTube chat issues. So hopefully that does not happen today. But yeah, I, I just hope it doesn't freeze up on me. It seems to be working now. Like I can actually see Nightbot. But that will be my cue to know if it's working or not. If I don't see Nightbot doing their job. So we need to... I think I'm going to start... I don't know. Should we do the mood board first or should we work on this spot? Because I can't really figure out the castle theme until we figure out the mood. Hey, Bang Tang. Welcome in. I always feel like I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I, I'm just really bad at usernames. You know, I think I might do. I'll show you the two themes, like the two vibes that I'm torn between, but I do need to get some items in my inventory. So bear with me. I actually made a post on Twitter and I'm torn between two like different castle vibes and they're both pretty solid castle vibes too. Like they'll suit the theme really well. But my issue is this, like I'm doing traditional Halloween, of course, but the idea of like a spooky vintage like ghost town surrounded by like this lantern lit forest just sounds so freaking cool to me but the issue is i am not like a huge believe it or not halloween yellow black and orange kind of gal i'm more of a rustic brown neutral color palette person <laughs> like i don't really care for like traditional halloween colors but i like halloween i like the lanterns but I do have this path saved, right? And this, this is definitely traditional Halloween vibes. And I thought it kind of blended with Colin Crossing's leaf path. But my issue is, I don't know if I'll be able to commit to the idea of black castle towers. I could be wrong, though. I've just never used the black castle items before. So it could just be it's new territory for me and that's it. But I did want to show y'all the two vibes that I'm torn between. This is very ghost town. The first one, like abandoned ghost town, basically. I'm saying it correct. OK, good, 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 because I'm so bad with names, I swear. Hey, Madison, welcome in. It, it has been a hot minute for both of us. I have not been streaming for at least a week. I've just had so much going on in real life. This week has been kind of like awful. So I've been a little AFK, but we're OK. We're doing good. We're going to have fun today. So let's see. Let me get my workbench. I'm going to show you all two different vibes 
and we'll choose it as a community. But my gut says that y'all y'all are gonna go for the um, the traditional one. Oops, hold on one second, friends. My dog is playing with his food dish. Let me pick that up. Alrighty, I am back. So I think, Dammy, first of all, welcome in. I think everyone's gonna want the Black Castle because it's just so traditional, but I just wanted to offer two different variations. I've just never used the Black Castle items before. So it's a little intimidating because I've never used those, but I've never also used the destroyed ones either. So, I mean, they're, they're both pretty solid. All right, let's do, we got the first one right there. I'm gonna customize the brown one. Sorry, y'all are gonna hear some thumping in the background. My daughter was having a meltdown because <laughs> she is sleeping over at her grandparents and she wanted to talk to me, but I'm streaming. So Steven went upstairs to talk to her. How is that sweet baby girl doing, Steven? She loves you. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Oh man, those are too low. I'm so bummed about the pumpkins. I have to find a new pumpkin. Those are kind of cute though. I guess I'm gonna have to find a new pumpkin lantern. So I'm wanting to do, to answer that question, a castle town. Kind of like, you know, the secret island we just did, how it was like natural with a castle sort of vibe. That's what I'm wanting to do on this island, but spooky and abandoned sort of vibes, I guess. But everybody was wanting like a traditional Halloween look. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to like look at this and like really think about it. But I feel like it's gonna be quite a challenge because I normally don't do these type of things. Like I just don't do spooky islands whatsoever. And not because I don't like them because I just, don't feel like I'm good at them, I guess. And this is one of those themes that kind of intimidate me. So when everybody wanted one, I was like, oh, great. <laughs> I have to do a theme that I don't feel confident in. So it's going to be kind of nerve wracking, but I feel like we'll, we'll get it together. Like we'll do, we'll do good as a community. We got each other. We'll help each other out. Uh, let's see. We are going to be working on transitional spots today. Welcome in, Mr. Bio. But we're also going to be working on, which is right now, we're trying to figure out the mood board for the castle. Like, I don't know if I'll get to the castle today, but I wanted to at least figure out the mood board for it. At least, it'll give me a plan, you know, if we get this figured out first. <laughs> Elizabeth, welcome in. Mayo, so good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing great. Irish lady, it's so wonderful to see you. You made a stream. It has been a hot minute, my friend. I know you've been so busy in real life, so thank you for coming in and hanging out with us today. All right, let me get a couple more barrels. Oh my gosh, Jazz, welcome in. Loved your mushroom video, thank you. I actually tore like so much of my plaza down. Y'all are gonna laugh at me because I tore down so much today because I need to do other builds. I'm always tearing things down because we have to do new new build content. But my, my Forgotten Lands, I did not touch. I actually really love the Forgotten Lands. All right, let me get, is it called Wedding Candle Set? I think that's what it's called. Hold on, friends. I'm getting some items. I'm trying to find it. Yep, it's wedding candles. There we go. I want a lot of candle lit like areas for sure. Like that's definitely on it, like on my plans. So I actually already chose my villagers. Give me one second and I'll pull up my map. I went for very foresty, traditional Halloween like characters on this island. So I did, I actually did pick out everybody, I believe. Right now I'm trying to figure out my castle mood board because this is gonna blend with our spooky forest. So if you are new to my channel or new to the stream, 
basically I'm gonna have like this spooky forest that kind of like surrounds this castle town. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go ghost town with my castle or if I want to go traditional like hocus pocus Halloween town sort of vibes, you know, like nostalgic Halloween city. But yeah, so just this is this is a very difficult theme for me. <laughs> I usually do Halloween cities because they're not as difficult, but I don't know. I just wanted a challenge. I'm gonna be doing an urban city next. So I wanted to get at least one natural-ish island in, but it is gonna have like structural stuff. So I just wanted to get one more island with natural stuff. All right, let me see. I'm gonna push this in real quick. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing lately. Disney Dream My Valley has me. I feel that. I've been on Disney Dream My Valley so often. I mean, my video tab definitely shows it. I've been working on so many different builds on Disney Dream My Valley because everybody's been asking for like, you know, different builds and stuff. So I'm trying to catch up on my build request stuff. Like, I think I'm going to be doing possibly, I don't know, maybe my, my, um, Skull Rock Island, like next for the channel for like a speed build this week because so many people have been asking for that. I don't know though. We'll just have to see what happens, but I know I need to get it done because I've been like saying I was going to do with this for like months and I still haven't done it. All right, let me push this in. Oh my gosh, have we already hit our like goal? What the heck? <laughs> Thank y'all so much for all the likes today. Y'all are amazing. I was thinking I wasn't going to have to pin a new like goal anytime soon. Y'all are over here on a roll today. Thank you so much, Beacon Alexi, for the new like goal. Kat, welcome in. I've been watching a lot of classic horror movies since it's spooky season, and I kind of want to make a crime mystery island, like a clue game. That would be cool. See, I don't do gore. Like, I like the movies, but I don't do gore on, like, builds. It's just, like, not my style. But I, every time I see people doing it, I'm just like, it's, like, such a cool, you know, theme. I think people that can do gore and do it well, they're, they're definitely inspirational, but I just can never do it. I can't get into it for some reason. Like I wanted to do a slasher Halloween Island so bad, like last year. But when I tried it, I was just like, eh, this isn't for me. I'm gonna leave it to the pros. Just give me, give me nostalgic Halloween. That's what I do. Hmm. Okay. So there's that one. Here's the neutral. So right now we're doing kind of like a comparison between two castle vibes. I mean, they're basically the same thing, but I'm showing y'all how all the item stuff looks around each castle. So we can kind of pick out the color palette because I need to figure out what I want this to look like for the castle part of the island. And I'm trying to set if I want to do this like... I don't know, like a city or something. Cause like, I really want to have like an Halloween town center where there's like different shops and stuff, like a potion shop and like a witchy shop would be so cute and like a bakery. So it's like, I want to have those and I could easily do ghost town, like nasty abandoned versions of that. If I went with like the neutral destroyed color palette, like it could be full on ghost town with spooky lanterns. This over here though, reminds me so much of like Halloween town. The reason why the wagons are here is because I am gonna have a farm area. Like I was thinking the entry to my island could be like a rural pumpkin field. And then you have like castle gates and a wagon. You know what I did on the secret island? And it was like a transitional spot, but y'all know how I did the dirt, like two road line center pieces, like these thingies, hold on. Where are they? I'm trying to find them, but these. So on my secret island, I did something like this, but it was a transitional area. It was like two of these by each other and the wagon was here. So I was thinking something kind of like that with my entry, but it's like an overgrown pumpkin field with lanterns. So I would like to bring that build from my secret island that I just posted a few days ago. And well, it was more like two weeks ago. But um, I would like to build, bring that build onto here because I think it would just be so cute. But let's see. The more I keep looking at this, the more it's like drawn me in. 
And I think it's because the black and orange really complement each other. What other Halloween items are there? Let me get the spooky trees. I'm gonna try to get them. Is it called decayed tree or spooky tree? Oh, it's decayed tree, there we go. Let me get a couple of those. Then I'm gonna get the spooky tree, hold on. All right, getting a couple of those too. I wanna make a custom code of a crime, crime scene tape for my house, ooh. I like it. I need a new idea for an island. Hmm. In general? Because, like, my next island after this is going to be a winter industrial city. We're going to do, like, snowy train tracks, a snowy power plant, like, city roads and stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, this is really growing on me. Like, the Black Castle... But let me see real fast how the pathing looks that I have. Because I like the path that we chose. But what if it doesn't look good with the, um, the color palette? All right, let me remove this real quick. And place down some of the dirt path. So we can kind of like see how all this is. Because this is the same dirt path that I've been using in the forest. So like I said, it's gonna be, the forest that's like really spooky is gonna be surrounding the castle town. So I wanna get, I want all the codes to kind of blend with each other. Yeah, I agree, Mayo. I think this is a good mood board so far for this, this vibe. This one, I feel like could be good if you were doing like a fall vintage town that wasn't Halloween. So I'm thinking, thinking this one's got to go. Like, I don't think we should do that one. This one, I think, will really complement the Halloween vibe. Ooh, farm core could be cute. I'm doing the more mossy one, so you roll with the black, and let's see how different we can actually make them since we twin at everything. <laughs> it is an idea. It is an idea. We do twin at everything. We're twinsies. And we don't even mean to. It just happens. Like, I swear, we're like the same person. Thank you so much, Irish lady. You're kind. Thank you, thank you. It's just trying to figure out, like, the, the overall vibe of an island, especially when you don't really have a plan. It's quite overwhelming. And this is the side of me that y'all don't see. Like, I love it so much how y'all just, like, think that I come up with these islands on a whim and it, it honestly it's so sweet that y'all hype me up like that and I appreciate that so much I think it's so so kind but this is the side of me that you don't get to see <laughs> the side of me where I'm just like holy heck <laughs> what are we gonna do what is my plan I wish it was like me being able to pull things out of thin air whenever I want but it just that's not me it's I'm just like y'all don't really know what I'm going to do until I test stuff. I only stream on YouTube. Yes. I like to keep all of my stuff on one platform. Plus, I'm a member here. A member. Oh, my gosh. Partner. So I want to keep all my stuff here. Plus, yeah, it's just easy. But I do have Instagram and Twitter. So you're welcome to follow me on there, too. All right. So we got that pathing placed. Let's see how this looks. Um, oh, by the way, all the codes are in the description, but I haven't added this one yet, but you could criteria search the road name and the MA will come up. But I'm not sure if I want this one yet. We're gonna try. I'm gonna see how it blends. Do you think this looks okay with the darker castle? They, I don't know. I feel like this one might look better with these. I mean, I like the dark ones. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because of the time of day. Yes, the path is so good. That's why I really want to use it. We are definitely the same person, Jet. 100%. Okay, you know what? The more I keep seeing it, 
The more I keep seeing this, I think it works fine. <laughs> this is 100% very goth core, I think. I even saved this plank coat because I wanted to do like a nasty boat port area with like lanterns all over it. So I saved, I saved this code too. <laughs> bye Madison. Thank you so much for coming by friend. I was thinking an idea around covered wagon. What exactly? All right, let me see how this one looks. I'm actually quite shocked that this path blends so well with Colin's leaf code. I think this could work. Y'all, I think that these codes will work really nicely together. Let me see. Let me pick this up real quick. Let's see how this is. Hmm. Okay. I think. I think I like this. Me too. That's why I appreciate games like Paleo because we can like build together. It's really fun. Let me see how this looks. Well, I think, you know what we really need is like the boat on Disney Dream My Valley. How cute, with like a bunch of these overgrown on my island would look. I think that would be so perfect. All right, let me put this back down and we can kind of just see what we're dealing with. Good evening, Nat. Hello, welcome in. All right. Pushing this down real quick. I know Colin's codes are so good. Like I feel like I've used his leaf path <laughs> like two islands in a row now. Like I used this leaf path on Oakville, but it's just so good for Halloween. And I really liked that it matched the brick path that I have. So I was like, whatever, it's Colin's codes. Okay, we're gonna use them again. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so how do we feel about this? I think that this is very traditional Halloween vibes, like over here. This, I think, could be such a great color palette for like a vintage ghost town, which I think is so cool sounding, but... I don't know. I mean, I love this too. I just have never done a theme like this over here. <laughs> this is kind of intimidating. I'm pretty sure my Halloween Island is all his codes <laughs> as, as it should be, as it should be. All right. I'm going to start with this one first. I'm going to start with that one first and we'll just see what happens. I think, I think that is a pretty solid color palette for a castle town. And it's actually very close to what I was originally wanting to do. I like the other one, but I feel like this is really going to complement the witchy Halloween vibes that I want to do. So at least we kind of have this over here to refer to when I start the entry. But before I even bother with that, let's go back over here and see what we can do. So I know I want to put a villager home right here. And this is my castle perspective so this is gonna be like all spooky forest stuff so we need to work on more terraforming over here today and we need to work on extending this so who do i want to even move over here let's see i'm trying to figure out how to place my museum to make it fit into my halloween and autumn island that that is going to be a difficult challenge i didn't even think about that this might be another island I, I abandoned my museum on. Maybe I'll move Kiki over here or maybe Wolfgang because we're so like close to this perspective. I feel like Wolfgang could be really cute over here in the forest. So I'm going to go get Wolfgang. We're going to move him. Green Bean, hello. Welcome in. All right, let's go move. Let's go move Wolfgang and see how this goes. And then I need to time travel one day forward. So I'll probably do that. Might mess up the spooky weather a little bit, but we do need to like get him placed. So we'll start there. All right, so good to see you, Tom Nook. 
I swear, I, I know this dialogue by heart now with the amount of islands that, that I have made. It's like, I don't even read it anymore because I've just seen it so many times. No, I am too, too broke in real life to decorate for Halloween. So I'm, and plus it's my, um, it's about to be my daughter's birthday. So I'm putting all the money into her birthday. But even if I, even if I had the money to go like full Halloween decor, my landlord here does not enjoy fun. <laughs> she hates fun. She gets so mad when someone puts a wreath on their door. So even if I wanted to, I could not decorate outside if I wanted. I could decorate inside, but I just, I would rather give that money to my daughter and get her some presents that she's been really wanting. So I'm going to be putting all the money towards her. All right, let's see. I am going to do his house, I think, above the fountain or the well. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like right here. I, I will need to extend this terraform, though. But I'm thinking right there. Give him some little spooky Halloween decor around his house. Then we'll probably do like an incline down here with some terraforming, maybe. But we'll, we'll just have to play by ear. I, I'm going to be all over the place on today's stream because I want to work on multiple areas. So we will be kind of all over. Just so y'all know. I'm going to extend this out to about right here so we can place his house because I do want to maybe do something really cute with my peninsula with like candles and stuff. So I want to leave that open, but we'll have to see. I, don't even, I haven't even really looked at my peninsula yet. I wonder how much space I got. I think when I got this island, the peninsula was pretty spacious. So we'll, we'll come up with something. Yeah, my daughter has been wanting this Barbie camper. It's like the Barbie dream camper. The thing is so expensive. But she has been begging for this for over a year. And we've been telling her no because birthday is coming up and Christmas is coming up. And she's been doing so good in school. So we're finally getting her the Barbie dream camper. Y'all, she's going to like freak out. And so we're going to do that. We're going to go take her out for dinner to her favorite restaurant, <laughs> which isn't even really a restaurant. I mean, it's takeout, but she loves McDonald's. So we're going to go take her out for McDonald's. So I think she's going to be excited. Your daughter was almost born on Halloween. That would be my daughter's dream come true. She loves Halloween. She's dressing up as Ariel for Halloween this year. She's pretty excited. She's like, I want the wig and everything. So I found her like this really cute wig on Amazon and like this really cute little mermaid outfit. She's going to be so excited. I tried so hard to get her to choose like the little mermaid styled dress. But she's like, no, I want the one that makes it look like I have a tail. <laughs> she was very specific on what she wanted. My youngest son's birthday is on Sunday and he will be 31. Well, happy early birthday to your son. Um, let's see. That is a wonderful idea, Elizabeth. Let's see. I'm going to go try to do his house right here. I just know that I want to work by Wolfgang's house first and then the other transition. Nora, if you don't change that timer, what timer? What timer did I, did I forget to change something? Oh, are you talking about the content creator promo ch uh, timer? Because that's staying up. That is staying up. I thought you were telling me I forgot to remove the Critter Cove timer. I was like, I swear I removed that. <laughs> um, all right. Hmm. In your opinion, Nora, what is the best theme for a playable island? Something without season, a general city core. You can go very bare minimum and neutral with a general city core and you can change it out per season so easily i would do that <laughs> i'm gonna keep the timer up jet whether you want me to or not <laughs> i literally was like did i forget oh my gosh because i forgot to turn off that critter cove promo <laughs> for like two or three streams and I was so embarrassed because I didn't even realize it was going on. It was like promoting something I didn't even have. I was like, oh, geez. How did I manage? 
How did I manage? All right, so we're gonna get him placed and then I guess we'll go from there. Thank you, Iris lady. We definitely have a long ways to go. I'm gonna be progressing this off camera and on videos too, because I literally have technically nine days to finish this island. Cause I would love to post the dream address on the 30th. So I have to really get busy. <laughs> And y'all couldn't delete it. Yes, I was like telling y'all to delete the messages for me as Nightball did it and y'all couldn't even delete them. I was like, oh geez, the worst, the worst streamer ever. I wonder what color house should I do for him? I think I'm gonna give him, let's see. I need to look up Animal Crossing Villager Homes. Hold on, I'll show y'all. Let's see, Villager. Sorry, y'all are hearing me type, Holmes. Let me see if my display capture actually wants to work today. So basically I can like with my mods change out. There it is, okay, perfect. So I can change out the villager house to like any house color I want. So I'm gonna look at this real fast cause Wolfgang's house has gotta go. I can't see the chat right now, so bear with me, but I'm just looking through this real quick to see which ones. I want to do, this is very Halloween color palette. I'm actually kind of liking that. Ooh, and the orange. Y'all, I think I'm gonna try Avery's real fast. Hold on. That actually is really, really cute. Let me see if I like this. Um. Okay, so let me go do some spicy console shenanigans. <laughs> Spicy, spicy console stuff. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I can get it done, y'all. I've gotten islands done in like three days before. So I am pretty dang confident that I can get this done in time. I just will have to do a lot of off camera grinding, but we'll get it. We'll get it for sure. Okay, so hold on. Let me see. I'm gonna have to like go inside a building to see if it worked. So bear with me. All right, let's go and see where we're at. Welcome in Kaylee. I hope I said that right. Or is it Kaylea? For some reason, my chat's like smaller than usual today. I know it matches really well. It's like Halloween foresty vibes. Okay, so let me, oh wait, I can just go inside the plaza. Hold on. I had to go in here to make the change happen. All right, let's see. Genki Colleen, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. All right, so spicy consoleness. Let's see how this goes. I think that house would be perfect for Wolfgang though. And we need to do more spicy consoleness too, because I want to like adjust the time of day, because this clear sky weather shenanigans that ain't okay. We need gloominess. What time is it? Can't even see. Hold on. Oh, right, it's definitely not nighttime. I think this will be the best we have until we can do that. Yes, you can do that. Okay, yeah, that is very spooky Halloween vibes. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna roll with this house first. All right, so now we're gonna do, there's our castle, which I still actually need to adjust the time a little more. There we go. So let's do some pumpkin decor, I think, around his house and go from there. But yeah, I, I do like this actually quite a bit. So I'm gonna get my hard hat back on. Thank you so much for the lurk, Colleen. I appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna do, I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple, like with overgrown lanterns and stuff and call it good, like lots of trees. It's just, I don't know what I'm gonna do below this, but we'll come up with something. All right, so I'm gonna extend the dirt out a little bit. Like maybe I'll do the broken tile right there. And then we'll do, where is it? This little piece right here. And, oh shoot, that's like way too close. We're gonna do it right there. So we can get a little bit of the cobblestone back in there. Then I'm gonna take this piece right here on the corner and this will be a really nice little natural path. Oops, there we go. And then I'll do 
this one right there. I'm gonna fill in a lot of the back over here with trees and stuff, so hopefully that goes good. You still haven't used your spicy console? It is definitely a huge help. Oops. I'm trying to get this to do what I want it to do. Oh, shoot, I need to use this piece, there we go. And then we'll do this one. Thank you, Nat, for the lurk. Actually, don't really like how that pathing is turning out, like, at all. That just looks awful. Let's fix that. I have, like, the, the layout in my head, but it's not, like, going the way I want it to. Let's try, like, this, maybe. And extend it. Hmm. I don't know. Not actually really liking that whatsoever. Maybe I'll just keep it simple and do like a little leaf pile underneath. I think I'm gonna do the leaf pile because I'm actually not a fan. I could do actually move this up a smidge, break this up right here with some overgrown weeds and stuff like these right here. I can copy and paste these with spicy console stuff. So we can like really make this overgrown. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, yes, do a Christmas island. <laughs> That'd be so fun. Miss Kate, Kate, Kylie, is that how I say it? Kylie? I hope I said this right. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming a member. Enjoy your emotes. Let me know how to pronounce your name right because I am obviously awful at this. But thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate it tons. It really helps us out. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna do some weeds right here. So like all of this could be another tree. Oh shoot, wow, I need a lot of greenery. I thought I had at least some bushes in here. All right, let me get some trees in my inventory. One second, friends. I actually am not really a fan of cedar trees, but this island has actually been making me appreciate it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's it's definitely been surprising me with the with the vibe and everything so far. All right, let's do a full grown maybe. All right. I think I actually might push it back a smidge if it's not too close. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got it right. You inspired me so much and I thank you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be on my way to my uh, for, to finishing my island. That's amazing. That is so amazing. That means a lot too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Els. Oh my gosh. I hope you got some good rest friend. How are you doing? Um, all right, Lisa. Well, I'm so glad that the streams help because I am definitely not a terraforming expert, but I'm trying my best. Oh, did I just clean up that weed? I sure did. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, Maybe, maybe it was meant to be. I don't know. Let me see if I can get this place back down. You know, I swear if it's too close, it's too close. This right here would have been a perfect location for a tree. But it's making me want to, it's making me post it or plant it like right here. And I'm not really digging that. Unless I swapped out this tree right here. Maybe I could do that, like do the full ground tree here instead and then do the stage three. Now I need to clean that up real fast right here. That would be probably cute. Let's do that instead. All right, then I'm gonna do the bush right there. Els, we are trying to be productive today. We are trying. I'm having a lot more trouble with this island than I expected just because it's really out of my comfort zone. So I go back and forth so much, I swear already. Just getting that perspective done felt like a chore because I'm like so unexperienced with themes like this. But I like a good challenge. I haven't had a challenging island theme in quite some time. So I feel like it'll be good for me. It'll help me get motivated on doing other themes that I don't usually do. All right, so then we can do a weed right there, like these two holes right here, I can turn into weeds, hold on. So basically with my spicy console, I can copy and paste what I'm standing on. 
So I'm going to do that real quick, but you have to run out of the frame or it won't like register. So I'm going to do that right here because the autumn weeds are just perfection. <laughs> They're just so good and they really capture the vibe of my island. So let me run out of the frame. It literally ha makes you go all the way out of that frame to be able to see it. Okay, there we go. And it just looks really good with the forest. So there we go, copy and pasted. So now I'm gonna do some more bushes, I think. Yes, please like the stream. It really does help me out. Feel free to drop any ideas for the island because like I said, this theme is very, very out of my comfort zone. We are gonna go into this head first not really knowing how to do these themes, but we're just gonna have fun. You know, the most important part about this is to have fun with it. So I just wanna have fun. All right, and then I'm gonna do another black flower right there. You know what I was really shocked about is the lack of black flowers in this game. Like I never really use the black florals whatsoever, but when I was like starting this theme, I was shocked to see that there's really not that many black flowers. And it's like, this theme needs it. And I'm not gonna do orange flowers because I'm really trying to keep it very spooky and gloomy. So I wanted to keep everything really neutral so the lanterns and all the candles like stand out. But I was shocked. I was like, what? There is no decent amount of flowers. Let's try to do another candle. Like, we'll push this back. Maybe purple. I know there's black roses, but I'm not really a fan of the black roses. So maybe purple could work. That is an option. I'm trying to see if I can do, well, shoot. I need to plant this um, apple, but I wanna keep this right here. Okay, we'll just do the decor on a different spot. Let me fill this in a little bit more. But yeah, I was like really shocked that there wasn't really that many options with the black flowers. It's also, it's also the same with the blue flowers too. Like why don't we have blue tulips? Why don't we have blue mums, you know? There's so many color variations, I feel like we really need. I do have black cosmos on the island, which I am very thankful for, but it's just, I don't know. I was really shocked at the lack of florals. All right, let me do another rock over here. Let's do the tall garden rock. Get like a couple of those. There is, but like, I don't know. They're not really my favorite, but I am gonna use them because I need the black florals. They're right here, but I don't know. They're not like my favorite, but I can't be picky because I mean, my options are kind of limited, but I was a little bit shocked to see the lack of those. All right, let's do the wooden box right here. We'll do, where is it? A wedding candle. All right, I am moving fast due to a spicy consulness. <laughs> Y'all both got it at the same time. Y'all are on a roll. All right, let's do, oh my gosh, is that not gonna place right there? Oh, you know why? It's because I have that little tree. I might have to move, oops, I did not mean to dig that up. I'm gonna have to move this tree whether I want to or not, which is not a bad thing. We'll make it work. But yeah, it wasn't really working over there anyways. We'll do the tree over here. I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna keep black flowers because I really just love the neutral color palette and it'll bring out my pumpkins. So I think I'm just gonna roll with that. Sometimes less is more. And that is hilarious. It's a whole command. The amount of times we always get people asking it. <laughs> we eventually made a command after there were so many people. There was like one stream where it kept happening like every five minutes. So one of my mods was like, Nora, girlfriend, you gotta make, you gotta make a command for this. <laughs> They're like, I can't keep, I can't keep typing this out every single time. And I was just like, okay, I'll make a command. I'll do it. 
we already reached our like goal again <laughs> What is going on? Oh my gosh, thank y'all so very much for all the likes on today's stream. If one of y'all can make me a new like goal, that would be so appreciated. Bestie, welcome in, welcome in. I'm gonna do the spooky tree. Do I do the lantern one? I already did a lantern, like over here. So maybe I'll do a, a decayed one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the sub. Is it crazy? I missed the rest of it, but welcome in, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Let me see how the spooky tree looks real quick. I love that. <laughs> it was so it was such a struggle when we had all those questions all the time. We were just like, okay, we're gonna have to make a command for this. Lycle 80, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the power of Animal Crossing. You can call me Liz if you would like. Oh, okay. Either works. Either works. I'm really bad with names. All right, let me do. Let's see. I'm trying to get what what tree I want. I think I'm gonna do the regular decayed tree behind here, like a little leaf pile, and I get decayed tree. I could also break it up a little bit and do more dirt path too. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, no problem. Enjoy your stream hop. Welcome in. Let's see. Lots of people are live tonight. I was quite shocked. Which is a good thing, actually, because I'll, I'll actually have someone to raid for once. I always stream really late, so I'm technically streaming if you're new here earlier than usual. I'm a late night streamer, but my sleep schedule is currently fixed right now. <laughs> and that is a struggle for me. I'm trying to actually... I'm trying to fix that and get back onto my nights. So um, I usually stream much later. Like usually three hours from now is when I start streaming. So that's a good thing though, because I'll be able to raid people today. Usually I can count on raiding at least my other fellow late night streamers. But Nick is out of town, so I can't even raid Nick. So I'm glad I'm streaming a little bit earlier. Unless they raid you first. Oh my gosh. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Do not jinx me, Mayo. I swear. I have a couple people in mind that I want to raid tonight. And I swear, if you just jinx me, <laughs> it, it's happened so many times. <laughs> there is a lot of ACNH streams today. I'm thinking it's because we're all just manifesting spooky time. Chunky Dr. Pepper, get out of here with that. <laughs> no, I don't have any Chunky Dr. Pepper today. Thank you so much, um, Bestie. That means a lot. I'm trying to see if I want to do this lantern over here. I'm going to do... No, I'm just going to do the regular decayed tree. What is with y'all in the Dr. Pepper and Chunky stuff? Y'all are a bunch of silly gooses. That's what y'all are. Every, every stream... All right, let me clean all this up because I was thinking it would look good having this underneath the tree, but I low key hate that with a passion right now. because That's just not not vibing with me, but I do want to put another spooky tree behind here. Do I just do like more leaves like like I did right there? Should I just do that? Because I mean, at least that fills and adds a little bit of something. And the, the leaf code is a little bit more forgiving, too. So maybe I'll do that. Let's do a piece maybe right there. And then we'll do another right there. And one piece right here. Hey, Steven. Do you know if I took any painkillers today? I got a mad headache right now. Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Do you remember? Oh, shoot. I will just continue drinking some water. Y'all, bear with me. I have been having migraines the last couple of days, and I have one just came out of nowhere a few minutes ago. So I apologize if I'm a little bit groggy. I'm waiting for it to go away, but I'm going to continue drinking my water. So give me one second.
Alrighty, I'm back. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's allergies, but I've been having migraines and just a sore throat and congested. So I'm truly thinking I'm just dealing with allergies. All right, so I'm gonna do this piece right here. And the thing is, it's like I wasn't even having a headache or a migraine until a few minutes ago. It has to be allergy related. I feel it, Nora. I've had a headache too, and I took a nap to get rid of it and woke up with it still there. Oh my gosh, that is the worst. I've done that before. It's like I took a nap trying to get rid of the headache, and then I woke up and I still had it. And I was like, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point? Jeez, I'm so sorry. That's rough. <laughs> that is rough. Um, all right, let me see how this is. Okay. Definitely liking the leaf option over here and I could do like a lantern or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just allergies because I've been feeling so icky the last couple of days with like sneezing and congestion. So it, it has to be um, allergy related. Oh, shoot. I cleaned up the weed I didn't want to clean up. Oops. I'm going to do a log stool over here. I really want enough like detail in this spot. Like I really want to focus a lot of lanterns and things. Rob, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome in. All right, let's do our spooky lantern. There we go. Oh my gosh, green bean. I've been there before too. It's so not fun. All right, let's do, let's see. Let's do our spooky lantern set right there. I had a concussion when I played basketball in high school and it was not a fun experience. So I hope, I really hope you don't have one. That's not a fun time. It's just, yeah, I wouldn't wish that on my enemy. Concussions are not fun. All right, let's do that right there. What do we think? So far, so good. I think that's actually coming together really cute. Maybe I'll do some more leaf codes right here, like underneath, or do y'all think I should do dirt? I think I'm gonna do a leaf. All right, I'm gonna do the leaf code starting to about right there. Why is it not letting me place it? I just, okay, there it is. I was like, wait a second, I've done this before. All right, now we're gonna do that piece. Oops, that's not the right piece. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes, thank you so much, Alice, for getting that. Yeah, I have a spicy console, so it just puts items into my inventory for me. All right, we're gonna do this piece right here. I'm just gonna do a really small leaf pile. I love this leaf code because it adds so much detail where you need it. And it makes like, I don't know, it just makes it look so cute. Now this is not like the most cute looking path placement ever, but it'll be fine because we're placing items on top of it. So just, just bear with me. It will look okay. I promise. All right. And then we're going to do the candle back on here. I'm like slowly becoming obsessed with candles everywhere. <laughs> And then we're gonna do, let's see, lantern set right there. Pushing this up. I'm gonna pull this one forward. And we'll do, that. could this go up any closer to the house or no? Like, is that normal? I could have swore I've gotten these closer. Which, I mean, it's not like a bad thing. I just could have swore I'd gotten these closer to the house. Maybe it's just the house style. I haven't used this house like look in a while, so it could very well just be that. I know the candles are so pretty. They really are growing on me. Like I, I never really was like a diehard candle decor sort of person. Then I met Jet <laughs> and then Jet totally just turned me into a spooky girl that I didn't even know I was. 
Um, all right. I think, I think that's cute so far. We can do like a leaf pile maybe in front of it. I'm trying to decide if I want to like keep this island on Halloween with like the muted tree colors or if I want to get more into fall. Like I am torn about that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's um communication between the console and the computer. It's a really weird thing. Like nothing is hooked up to my computer. Basically like the software that I use goes off of my IP address and it injects items into my game via IP, which is like this short, short summary of it. You did, you ruined me, Jet. You have ruined me. I didn't even know I was a cottage core kind of gal until I met Jet. I also kind of blame Palea too. Palea showed me that I was a cottage core kind of person. I didn't even know I was one. All right, I think, I think I like this. Welcome in, Egg and Yolk. I love your username so much. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so we're gonna do, let's see. We're gonna do, can we fit this over here? I don't think we can. I don't think I can, nope, can't fit that in there. No problem, get some rest, Jot. And also just, you know, feel better soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all with that chunky Dr. Pepper. Y'all with that chunky Dr. Pepper. Your username honestly is incredible. <laughs> I love it when people have like the best usernames ever. I was on Palea earlier and I literally laughed out loud because I loved this person's username so much. Their username was Crispy Fried Chicken Tendy. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, that username is so good. <laughs> but I didn't wanna come off as like, you know, a weirdo and be like, I love your username. So I just like kept it to myself. But when I saw their username, I was just like, that is the best username ever. So whenever I see like amazing usernames, I just, I gotta tell you, I just gotta say something. Let's see, I'm gonna go down here. Does that work with animals? What? Oh, the commissions. I thought you were done with your commissions. Oh my gosh, I love that username. <laughs> yeah, funny, funny usernames just make my day. I also saw, I saw somebody on Palea that literally named their username, I don't know, like written out. And um, yeah, I've just seen some pretty awesome usernames. <laughs> but every time I see their usernames that are amazing, it's like I wanna so bad be like, I love your username. But not everybody likes being talked to. <laughs> so I didn't even bother. But yeah, there has been so many times where I've seen a great username on Palea. Um, all right, let's do, let's do that flower right there and I'll do a tree. Welcome into the stream. Palea is honestly a whole different world and I love it. <laughs> there are some silly people on there and some silly usernames and they just make my day like, the amount of times I have laughed at a username, it's been perfect. It has been. I think that's coming along. All right. Usernames that are funny are just the best. I do not have to do villager hunts, no. I can just kind of force them onto the island. I haven't done a villager hunt in forever, but I am gonna be starting a no time travel island that uses zero mods. So we will do villager hunting on that. I haven't villager hunted since 2020. It's been a hot minute. All right, I'm gonna extend this out a smidge. I don't really know what my plan is behind here yet. I just wanna fill in um, behind this house. I'm gonna do another. I know I love Mayo's username too. When I first saw Mayo on my channel, I was just like, oh my gosh, I love the name. 
I like it when people have like food themed usernames. I don't know why, <laughs> but they make me laugh. I don't know what it is about them, but the crispy fried chicken tendy username that I saw today on paleo is going to like forever make my entire week. Cause that was like the best username I think I've seen on paleo in a hot minute. All right, let's do, I don't know this one right here. I was going to try a little bit of dirt underneath this. There was another person that came onto my stream recently with a great username and I forgot what it was, but I also laughed at that username. It was actually a really silly, silly username. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to do, I think another spooky tree right there. Let's see. One second. Steven should make a chunky Dr. Pepper one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't tempt him. Don't tempt him. Steven's crazy. All right. I'm going to try to shrink this dirt down a little bit. Cause I think it'd just be really cute to have like a little dirt spot over there. Should I do the lantern maybe behind this? You really can't see it though. Oh my gosh, I thought I picked the flower. I was gonna be like, are you kidding me? Was it you? I think it was you actually, cause you have a food related name. Cause I remember specifically saying not too long ago, I love your username and it was a food. Garlic and mayo. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. Gotta change my username to some oops i did not mean to do that how do i get out of this no i don't know what to do i'm taking pictures ah no there we go <laughs> how did i do that what the heck oh i'm such i'm such a silly girl no i'm pretty sure it was you because i remember seeing your username i remember specifically saying that your username was silly and you you were on that stream like a few streams ago it, it has to be you. Cause I remember specifically telling Steven that I loved your username. <laughs> I gotta come up with a food username for myself. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do a bush right there. And that will be a weed over there too. I really like coffee. So maybe it would be like a coffee name. I don't know. But one of these days I'm gonna make an alt account and y'all won't even know who it is and I'm gonna have a food name on it. And I'm gonna go to all y'all streams and cause chaos. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I will make an alt account with a food name one day. One day I will. All right, let's see. Maybe, just maybe I'll make my username Chunky Dr. Pepper. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> okay, hold on, friends. I'm gonna go see if that weed got placed. And we'll go from there. Where did I even dig that hole? Oh, I think it was back there. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> we need to make spare accounts. <laughs> but you see, I'm too lazy. No, no. <laughs> No, Mayo, I forgot about that. <laughs> Nora Long Arms, yep. <laughs> Nora Long Arms. Oh my gosh, if y'all were on that Critter Cove stream, you you if you were there, you know. <laughs> it would be 100% Nora Long Arms. Can't 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 leave that out. That's just that was a crazy stream. <laughs> Honestly, I, I really want to make a new Palea account and just have Nora long arms on it. If, if Palea gives us like character customization to really like enhance like certain aspects of your body, I'm going to make her have arms to the ground and I will make it happen. It will happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love pepperoni. Pepperoni so good. I could see, I could see it because Elle's Roni. You, you had that as your username for a while, so I could see that. <laughs> Long live Nora Long Arms. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are so crazy. <laughs> you know, that stream was so chaotic. It was so fun. I think that was the most fun I've had on a stream in like forever. We were just 
a bunch of hooligans. <laughs> yeah, that stream was that stream was so chaotic in like the best way. And yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love how we ended up just making like a backstory for that character that I messed up. Tomato? I used to like hate tomatoes as a kid and now I like them. I don't know what happened. All right, let's see. I'm trying to look at different items. Jazz, thank you so much. It's been a lot of trial but i think we're finally getting there should i do another candle maybe where that weed was like a mom's candle i think i made jazz a command if i didn't can y'all get me the channel link i'm pretty sure i did though if i didn't i am so sorry we'll make sure to get one by next stream all right let me try that right there I think I need to make a jazz command. I think we were supposed to jet and I forgot about it. <laughs> we'll need to do it. Please remind me. Ooh, candle. I need to make jazz a command. This is like the second time I forgot about it. Did you know I did the same thing to um, L as well? I forgot to make L a command for like three streams. I felt so bad. Maybe it was. Is it on the command list? Check it. I have it pinned in the um, mod chat. I could have swore I made it. I, I remember doing it. Did it not save? Green apples and salt? I don't know because I don't even like green apples. Someone needs to try it though and get back with how it tastes. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm going to get the Animal Crossing. Where is it? Animal Crossing. Trying to get the 2.0 item list. 2.0 items. And I'll put on display capture so y'all can see. All right, so I'm going to try to find some items. See what options we got. Oh, I wonder if I could do something with the cave. Creepy skeleton. I was tempted on using that, but it was getting too creepy gore for me. So I'm gonna skip out on it. But I did I did consider it. Glowing moss? Maybe I could use the glowing moss items. What other ones are there? I'm just trying to see what there is because I wanna make sure I have enough witchy vibes. I mean party light arches. I mean I'm gonna use those, no doubt. Uh, let's see. You know, for the amount of items that we got, I feel like we could have used a lot more. Like, I feel like it, it's so unfinished. I feel like we need more items. Should I use the weed field on this island at all? Like the, the muted green one? It might help fill up space. Um, bottles. We could use the bottles. Let's see. I'm looking down here real fast. Oh yeah, paradise candles. That would that would add to the illumination. So I could use some of those. Vine lamp. Uh, what else is there? I think this is all just getting down to like food and stuff. Okay, so we got some other candles we can use. All right, let's see. I'm gonna look at this a little bit better. Should I do maybe another bush like right over here? Or actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this flower real quick. So I am gonna be doing like a dedicated witchy area and that's gonna be for Muffy. So I'm gonna save that to answer that question, egg and yolk for her house. Cause she's gonna be like in the forest and have a really nice witchy home. So I don't want to do it here because I don't want to take away from hers. So I am planning to do something for her, though. I'm going to do another candle right there. I just want this spooky forest to be full of like lanterns and candles. All right, let's see. I know I have a candle. What the heck? OK, there it is. Kyle, hello. Thank you. Jamie, so good to see you. Welcome in. 
Okay, absolutely love, 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 love all the candles right here. That is staying for sure. All right, so then I'm gonna do maybe, should I fill this in with like a bunch of different weeds or should I do maybe some trees? I just don't wanna block these, but if I do maybe a tree right here, that should be good. Okay, so if I did that right there, that would be okay. And question, do y'all think I should save the DA on Halloween or should I time travel to like rich fall red colors? I was thinking Halloween, but I don't know. It's, it's like I need to time travel to get the color of Colin Crossing's path over here. Like I need more oranges and reds. Maybe I should time travel and, and see how that looks. I haven't even thought about that yet. Like the actual time of year that I want this island in. I think it's because also I wasn't sure like the color palette for this island. But now that we've actually picked that out and we want to go more traditional fall, I'm wondering if I should do this in November. So I have all the orange colors like Kyle or not Kyle, <laughs> Colin Crossing's path has. All right. Good night, bestie. Pat, welcome in. Thank you so much, bestie, for hanging out today. So actually, we get fog. And I already found the day that I get fog on this island. And it is in the morning, I think October 17th for my weather seed. But it only shows up in the morning. And I need it to be specifically a nighttime themed island. But if I time travel to November, I can get a foggy-ish sort of night with the orange color palette. So I think I'm just going to like weather hunt off camera in November. Oh my gosh, right? Colin is like on a level in Animal Crossing code making that I will never be on. <laughs> I love everything he creates. We'll definitely time travel to um, probably November. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see, because I'm in October right now and this is like fall, but it's not like orange fall. Like orangey like colors on this game start happening in the middle of November. So I would need to time travel to like November 15th. So I think I'm going to go time travel in a second to November so we can kind of fill it out because originally I started building this island in October because I was thinking I was going to go more neutral. But if we're going to go full on traditional like Halloween, I need to definitely time travel to fall, like actual fall colors. All right, let's do some more weeds like run one right there, too. My favorite season in Animal Crossing is winter, which is very underrated, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. I am 100% a basic fall girl. I love pumpkin spice everything. But winter, I think it's because I was born in December. But winter is my favorite time of the year. I love Christmas. I love everything, you know, snowy and cold, hot chocolate. Christmas lights. That is that is my happy place. All right. Let me see. Let me see how uh, November looks. Elle, welcome in. Thank you so much for popping in, friend. How are you doing? We are working on my Halloween island. Okay, so I'm going to time travel to November 15th. And we shall see how this looks. Winter on Animal Crossing is so beautiful. It's like one of my favorites. And then like snowy outdoors in real life, like winter is just my happy place. But like on Animal Crossing, I feel like winter is so underrated. So I really enjoy, I really enjoy winter. I'm looking forward to the industrial winter city that we're gonna be doing next. Cause that is gonna be such a fun island. I wanted to do that last year, but I think we did like two winter islands back to back and I was just like so over winter. 
So I'm really excited to actually do something for winter that I'm really excited about. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely really cozy. I love pumpkin spice lattes. Oh my gosh. It's so funny too, because Steven, my husband, he hates pumpkin spice anything. So every time I get like pumpkin anything, he makes fun of me. <laughs> Kristen, welcome in. Hello. But I feel like winter is a really hard season to decorate on Animal Crossing. So I feel like that's why a lot of people tend to stay away from it. I wonder how this would look. Let's see. I need to adjust my time a little bit. So let's do, we got to time travel enough so you can, you don't see the castle lights. But yeah, I'm definitely all for the fall colors. Look how pretty that is. I know Steven doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like pumpkin anything. He doesn't like chai tea. He just has no flavor. That's what it is. Okay, so 100% loving the red, the red tones. I'm so glad that I time traveled. <laughs> he does. He buys me the pumpkin spice creamer all the time. He's 100% a keeper. Yeah, I love, I love this. This is way prettier being in late fall. <laughs> yeah, I like this. So originally I wasn't in, you know, late fall because I wasn't sure of the color palette we were going to do, but I'm glad, I'm glad we decided on this. Spicy console is definitely a life changer. <laughs> it makes it so easy to hunt for like weather and stuff. So yeah, I, I like it. All right, let's do... Let's do this one right here. And then let's do this piece right here. The spicy console stuff is like confusing at first, but once you've done it a few times, it's really not as overwhelming as it sounds. Do we light the candles like right here? Or should I do a smaller candle? Alex, welcome in. How are you? Maybe I'll do another pumpkin lantern. Y'all, my dog Shiloh is like aggressively kissing my arm. Usually when I have my webcam on, he attacks me because he gets so jealous that I'm not paying attention to him. Yes, I literally will look for weather. I will go hunting for certain weather patterns. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do this one pulled out and maybe the spooky tower. Hmm. I don't really care for that. I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh. Like I wanted to go into Animal Crossing modded build stuff so bad, but then YouTube went on like this video banning spree for like all of us content creators. So we all like stopped doing it. But I wish I could have done some really fun, spicy uh, content, but I just couldn't. I couldn't. Let me try candle like right there. Hmm. It does help with burnout though. Like if the spicy console, like if you're not like a content creator and you just want to have a fresh new, you know, look at Animal Crossing, it, it definitely is helpful with that. It did, it did cure um, Animal Crossing burnout for me when I needed it to. I'm trying to look for like the little grassy one. There it is. Should I just do like maybe a little mush over here? Cause like I have a candle over there and I don't want it to be too many matchy candles. What about the paradise candle maybe? Let me try to get that paradise candle. I didn't think that Wolfgang's house would take me this long, but I'm getting very invested into the decor. <laughs> 
Oh, well, at least he'll have a nice little candlelit house, you know? It's worth it. Should I add also, like, the vine items? Like, I have, like, this small little vine, um, whatchamacallit, like, seat. You can see it over, where is it? Right there. But I'm thinking about adding, like, the actual vines eventually. Yes, this is this island, L. It's the Spooky Castle Island. So I've been working on this today, but I'm not technically in the right weather at the moment. Like I need it to be like really cloudy and gloomy. So right now it's not that way yet. <laughs> I am very impulsive on um, Disney Dream My Valley L's. So I am the same way on Disney Dream My Valley, if it makes you feel any better. All right, and then let me swap this out. Yeah, this has been a really hard island, but also a really fun island. I still have a ways to go. Like, we only have done this area so far. But, yeah, this is the island. I'm trying to find the right time of day. See, like, this is getting too early, so you can see the castle tower right there. But you need it to be, like, really dark and gloomy. So, like, right now... It's not dark and gloomy enough. So I need to like hunt for the preferred weather. <laughs> this woman tried to, to convince me to tear down my plaza with her. <laughs> oh man, I did. I did. Our Jet was like, I need to do something with my plaza. And I was like, tear it down. Because <laughs> that's all I ever do. Watching Hocus Pocus, I wanted to watch that today. Are you watching the original one or the second one? Because the second one was like, eh. The first one's always going to be the best. <laughs> Thank you, Green Bean. I did. I, I told Jet to delete her plaza. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a good friend. Because... Hey, you said you didn't know what to do with your plaza. I was saying, what if a fresh start... And delete, yeah, let's be psychos together. <laughs> Literally, I delete and restart so much that it's just like routine now. And it's so funny too, because I'll go into like my videos and be like, y'all, I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to delete it. And then like the next day, I'm already tearing it down. And then I load up my valley on streams and I wonder why it's always a chaotic mess because I'm just... I'm, 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 I'm having problems, friends. That's all I got to say. I got problems. I just want to constantly delete delete and repeat <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cool green bean that that's awesome that probably was so fun yeah i love hocus pocus one of my favorites one of my other favorite halloween movies too is monster house i love that movie like so much and then i rewatch is it called Coraline? i think i rewatched that the other day and I really liked that one too. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this weed in real quick. Hold on one second, friends. My dogs are going crazy. All right, I'm back. Sorry. My dogs will literally fight over this pillow. <laughs> like it's the only pillow in the house, which it's not, but to them it is, and they'll fight over it. Yeah, I think Hocus Pocus 2 was cute, but it wasn't on the same level as the original. I agree with that. Yeah, I just flattened my plaza for like the thousandth time <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do in the new plaza build but i just want to do something with the buildings i want some sort of organization because ever since we got that mushroom house it made me spiral now i want my peaceful meadow to be all natural and like overgrown the mushroom house is the blame i blame it 
<laughs> my dogs fight over the pillow on our couch. They act like it's the only pillow in the house, which it's not. But they will just sit there and go completely berserk. So yeah, y'all will occasionally hear that chaoticness. The way you say plaza is so satisfying. <laughs> Sam, I don't get what you mean. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can feel this. All right, I'm gonna go and put this up here real quick. Oh my gosh, Alex, thank you so much. Yeah, the pillow. I don't, it's not even like a comfy pillow either. It's like, why are y'all fighting over that? You know what's funny is I bought them like an extra large Great Dane sized dog bed because like they could share it, but they decide to fight over it. Like there's not enough room for both of them. <laughs> they act like that. It is. It's 100% normal sibling behavior. Like they'll just fight over everything. Like I will give them their own food dishes and they will purposely go over to one food dish and like bicker over it. I'm just like, y'all are just crazy. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if we how this spooky tree looks. I just want a 10 hour video of Nora just saying Plaza on repeat. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. Imagine me just like dropping that. Y'all are so silly. Yeah, the mushroom house is so good. It totally 100% made me spiral. <laughs> I was like, okay, I got to do something with this. So I like flattened everything because I wanted like to test different stuff. But I don't have like an official build for my valley yet with it because I'm trying to item reset for the um, the vine wall. And I'm so jealous that Elle has it. And I think, I don't know, Jed, do you have it too? But like, I want the vine wall like so bad, but I don't have it. So it's like, I'm jealous of everybody who has it right now. Let's see, I might do, might do like a flower or something over here. Let me get a flower real quick, hold on. They will not share. Who will not share? What am I missing? I know, Kristen, the vine wall is like so good. So like everybody who has it right now, I'm just like so jealous. It was funny too, cause I had somebody comment and they were just like, you should use the vine wall with this. I was like, I would use it if I had it. You know, like the fairy odd parents meme where they're like, this is where I would show this item if I had it, that's me right now with the vine wall. I was like, yeah, I would have used it if I had it. How does it feel people to be Scrooge's favorite? Cause I have been resetting for the vine wall for like ever, no luck. So I'm jealous of all of you who have it right now. So with a spicy switch, you can only share the DA if you haven't used any modded items in your island. Yeah, so like I share DAs on my islands all the time, but there's no modded content, so they are good to go. All right, and then we're gonna do a weed right there. <laughs> they don't like to share either, especially if it's toys. It's just so silly to me because like, they could have the same, like, you know, thing, like the same toy, but it's like they want each other's toy instead. Like they will fight over one toy. And I'm just like, y'all are just so silly. And it's like, I gave them the same dog food and everything, but they decide they have to fight over the dog food. They're just, they're just a bunch of sillies. That's what they are. I really need a new biome in Disney Dream My Valley. Like, where are we gonna place all these houses? Like. I have so many castles I don't know what to do with right now because I have no space for them. And yeah, like my valley right now is just a complete disaster storm. I'm planning to stream Disney during my valley in a few days. And y'all can just witness how destructive I am, but how messy it is. All right, there we go. 
V, welcome in, friend. How are you? No worries about the bad Wi-Fi. Yeah, I need a new biome, like two biomes. I need a Candyland biome. Y'all imagine a candy biome, okay? It would be perfect for Vanellope. A candy biome and we could do like Candyland or something. And like a bunch of new candy items. Like how perfect would that be? Like why don't we have that? <laughs> Okay, so I think Wolfgang's house is pretty much done. I think it's pretty close to being finished. Let's do a couple of log stake details. But I think I'm pretty much done with Wolfgang's house. So we could move on to the next transition. Should I do another log stake like over here? Hold on, let me show y'all like in this spot let's see I'm gonna try it I'm pretty happy with how Wolfgang's house turned out what is one feature you would add to the new Animal Crossing game co-decorating for sure and water decorating I know that's like two things but I think it'd be really, really cool the way a paleo works to be able to collab with your friends and stuff. Thank you, Al, for the lurk. Okay, so here is how Wolfgang's house turned out. I'm pretty happy with this, actually. Like, I'm really happy with that. I think it captures the glowy Halloween vibes pretty well. I might do, like, right here, another decayed tree. But I am like really happy with that. It's not like too much going on, but it's enough illumination. So I feel like his house is pretty much finished. So what I might do is work on terraforming this transitional spot. I'm pretty happy with that. What about a little fishing hole like below his house? Is that what you're saying? Like right down here? We could definitely do like a little pond right there. That would fit. I think that's a good idea. I do want to work over here though, because I don't want to get too distracted. Thank you, egg and yolk. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna work on terraforming over here. Not sure what my plan is, but I think it would be really nice to have maybe like a bridge that's angled over here. Oh, yes, that's a good one, Kristen. To decorate with items closer to each other like we can on Palea. That would have been perfect. That would have been so good. Thank you, Irish lady. Thank you, thank you. I've been really enjoying these natural islands lately. Like, this is going to have, like, a city area, but I'm saying, like, the natural terraforming has been really refreshing. But I am really excited to tackle our next city all right i'm trying to see how i want this i'm thinking if i could do like some sunken terraform over here and this like right here be i don't know like the bridge and then we can have like a house over here and i can blend out the sides of my perspective so i need to extend this out a little that is something that really does drive me insane with animal crossing is like the fact that i can't clutter because on Palea, I can get things, like, really cozy. But on Animal Crossing, yeah, like, not so much. You know, I could also let this lead up to the pumpkin patch that y'all were talking about, too. I was thinking I could do, like, some sunken terraform over here. But this could be part of the um, castle town, too. What do y'all think? Should I make this kind of like the farm pumpkin patch over here? I want two dedicated pumpkin patches. Like, can you have too many pumpkin patches on an island asking for a friend? <laughs> but I do want like a nice pumpkin patch. So should I do the sunken terraform with another villager? Or should we do the start of the like farming area? Because the farm will transition to... Um, to part of the castle city. So I'm trying to decide. I mean, I think both are great options. 
I think those are definitely great options. Thank you so much, Parker, for liking the stream. I do like that um, idea to egg yolk. Yeah, I do like that. What if you did like a fall festival with the pumpkin patch? So I am wanting to do two dedicated like pumpkin patches and I wanted one to be more spooky and overgrown. So that is actually a wonderful idea. Maybe this one could be the spooky abandoned one. And then the one closer to um, the entry could be like a festival. I think the farming spot could be really cute though. Cause I could, I could do like the little wagon wheel lines that I'm obsessed with lately. These, maybe I'll do that. Yes, I love Vivian. She's one of my favorite wolf villagers. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the farm area and see how that goes first. Cause what if I end up really liking that instead? Where is the candles? Thank you, Addy. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm gonna be working on this island like nonstop over the next few days. So if y'all want to see more on the island, when I'm not streaming, make sure you tune into the videos because I'm going to be doing videos on this island over the next like few days with my Disney Dream My Valley stuff because we have to get this island finished in such a little amount of time. So expect lots of videos and streams with y'all. We have a deadline. And then I can do like the pumpkin and stuff around here maybe. And then we can do, let's see. I really loved the little like wagon wheel road lines from my last island. So I, I knew I wanted to incorporate this on here. I just really wanted to bring this build over and do like a fall version of it. You have her on your tropical island. She's such a cute villager. Honestly, like all the wolf villagers, I'm a huge fan of. Oh, y'all, give me one second. Hold on. Shiloh, my dog is going crazy. Sorry, y'all. My puppy, he is going completely nutty. And I think it's because he knows I'm ignoring him. It's like, if I don't pay attention to him for like five seconds, he gets insulted. <laughs> All right. Um, let me fill this in real quick. So I think we're going to do the pumpkin field like about right here. And then I can do some castle like walls over there. The deer villagers are so good too. The deer villagers are so perfect. Disney Dream My Valley is definitely not for everybody. Totally get it. Some games just don't click and that's okay. You know what's another game that I need to play again soon on the channel, but I've just been so behind on content. I need to load up Fay Farm so we can design in it. I haven't even had time to play Fay Farm, but we need to definitely do some designing. Yeah, she's such a great villager. She really is. All right, I'm gonna do the terraform out about right here. Oh, y'all give me one second, hold on. Sorry, y'all. Shiloh is just going completely berserk. I don't know why. I was trying to figure out what was going on. But um, friends, my headache is like really bad right now. If it doesn't calm down in the next like 10 or 15 minutes, I might have to end stream a little early 
because I am like hurting bad. So I just want to let y'all know I've been streaming for almost two hours, but I'm trying to go for three today. But if it continues to hurt me like this, I might have to call it good. Obviously, you know, taking care of you is always important. But this is the worst that I've had. I just like I'm not feeling too good, friends. I feel kind of icky. I'm hoping that I'm just like maybe dehydrated and I am sipping on water. But I don't know. I just kind of feel yucky. All right. E-Man, welcome in. How are you? Oh my gosh, I love the robot villagers like so much. They're so cute. Have them on my stray island. I have so many different Animal Crossing islands right now. We're working on like four different Animal Crossing islands. All right, let's see. I will 100%, you know, call it, call it good if it gets too bad. 100%. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so icky. Like I wasn't feeling this way before I started streaming, but that's why I think it's allergies. I think it 100% is allergies. Hopefully that's all it is. All right. I played Fae Farm, but I was neutral to it. See, I haven't finished the storyline to Fae Farm, but I really want to decorate in it because like I love to do design. So I feel like I feel like I could have a lot of fun with designing in the game. All right, let's see this right there. Yeah, 100 percent. If I if I can't push any longer, I'm definitely going to call it a day. I'd rather end the stream on a good note than on a miserable note. I mean, I have been productive today, so it's not like I haven't been productive. But it's like if I feel icky, I can't give the stream and the builds my full 100. You know, it doesn't help that I don't remember when I took Tylenol. Cause like if I could take some right now, I would probably start feeling better pretty quickly, but I was having a headache earlier today and I think I took some. So obviously you don't want to have an issue with taking too much. Let's do Cosmos right there. I'm thinking the pumpkin field will start like right here and maybe I could do another villager. I wonder who would look good over here. Maybe Roscoe, because we got like little wagon wheels. Maybe I could put Roscoe over here. Your least liked character is the real you? <laughs> what? Like my my least liked Animal Crossing character? You should sleep. See, I would sleep if my insomnia would let me. I would 100% sleep. You know what's the worst though? And I think Els even talked about it earlier. One of my mods is when you go to bed with a really bad headache only to wake up with it still. Y'all give me one more second. Hold on. My cat now is going crazy. Sorry. The cat and dog will like play with each other and they'll just get so rambunctious. So I apologize if y'all heard that. Okay, so we're going to do. I think actually no, I'm going to do the hardwood tree. Let me get one. I don't take just two, I take three. I take three pills because two doesn't do one, do it for me. So that's why I'm unsure. I think I can't take any right now. But yeah, two does not do anything for me. All right, let's do, I'm gonna do a weed right there and a bush right here. You need a good fall island. Fall is really fun. I'm working on another fall island too, which thankfully it's a neutral fall design. So I don't have to stress about getting it done in time for Halloween. But the, a good fall island is always really fun to do. Oh my gosh. Rodney. Rodney is my, <laughs> my top hated villager. I do not like Rodney. No, that makes no sense, though. I'm nothing like Rodney. Els likes all the villagers. 
I think Rodney's one of Elsa's favorite villagers too. <laughs> like goal of 95. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did we already hit our like goal of 80? Okay, we got five until five likes until 80. So if we can get another few likes, we can get a new like goal. Japanese islands are really fun to make. Definitely one of my favorite themes to do. All right, so let's, let's do bush right there. Rodney's just a little guy. <laughs> no, Rodney's just, ugh. I don't like Rodney, like, at all. Els is, like, obsessed with Rodney, and I'm just like, you're wrong. Oh, my gosh. Graham. Oh, man, Graham's another one. You know who else really makes me, like, aggravated is Quilson. Quilson's always my camper. I am so tired of seeing Quilson. <laughs> it's usually Quilson or Rodney. I'm just so tired of them. But Els is just like, I love them all. Els takes in all the villagers we don't like and loves them. <laughs> Clyde. What does Clyde look like again? I forgot. Is that another, is that another villager I probably don't like? I might do, I don't know. What should I put right here? Destination signpost, maybe? Or I can move this over, like, right here, maybe? I did drink, like, two things of coffee earlier, so I don't want to overdo it on caffeine. I think, honestly, it's just allergies because I have a sore throat and I'm kind of, like, congested a little bit, so I think it's just allergies, I think if I take a nice hot bath when stream is over, I should feel a little bit better. I think I'll be okay. Let's pull this down a smidge. Maybe? Do y'all like that better like right here or do you like it better pulled in front of the bush? Kind of like leaning towards the bush because this is really close to where the pumpkin patch is going to be. He looks cursed. <laughs> Man, yeah, one of my friends gets like chronic um, migraines and I, I'm not at that level, but like occasionally, at least once a week, I will get a pretty bad migraine. It does happen. Who's another villager that I don't like? Barreled. Oh, my gosh, I do not like Barreled and I'm sure Els loves Barreled. <laughs> That is another villager that I despise with a passion. Sorry, I was running out of the frame because I need to get that weed right there. Maybe I'll do a pumpkin like right there. Or should I do another weed? I'm trying to decide. Okay, so do we like the idea of this leading up to the pumpkin patch? Are we on board with that idea? peaches okay is peaches the the puke colored horse <laughs> or is that somebody else which one is peaches because i mean that name sounds very familiar kelly thank you so much for the super chat that means the world to me thank you very much welcome in friend hippo oh my gosh hippo's another one I hate hippo. <laughs> Ribot is the worst. Okay, so I actually love Ribot. Barreled. Oh my gosh, no. Beardo also. I don't like Beardo either. Beardo also is one of those villagers I don't like. <laughs> oh man. I get aura migraines every now and then, and I do not wish them on anyone. Yeah, migraines just are not pleasant whatsoever. Oh, I actually kind of like Peaches. Peaches is cute. Yeah, the pink horse with orange hair. Okay, so Peaches I actually kind of think is adorable. I actually do like it. Did we hit our like goal? Let me see. I know we're really close to it. We are, on my end, it says we're one away. But YouTube probably hasn't updated yet. Oh my gosh, the Roman one. Oh man, I don't like him either. Who's the toilet lion? <laughs> I don't like the toilet lion either. 
the toilet lion is awful. I think Steven actually likes the toilet lion. If I remember correctly. I think he said that he looked really dapper. I was like, of course you like him. Like Steven likes all the villagers that I despise. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Peahan's monkey? Who is the Peahan monkey? What? Okay, okay. I need to know about this. Who? Who is that, Kyle? I need some context here. Pashmina? I'm not like... I don't despise Pashmina. She's not like a favorite, but I don't think she's like ugly. Um, who else do I not like? There's so many villagers that I'm just like, yuck. The X eyes. Okay, I actually kind of like Peaches. Okay, I think she's kind of cute. All right, and then I'm thinking this could curve into the castle gates and then we can have like a like a horse living over here. Thank you so much for all the likes today. Y'all are the best. Y'all give me a second. I don't know what my dog is doing. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Shiloh is cuddling with Pickle and I'm just waiting for the chaos to unfold. If you're new here, I have two dogs and their names are Shiloh and Pickle. Shiloh is a healer mix. Pickle is a little Pomeranian and they fight with each other like like, you know, the ultimate siblings. And every time Shiloh cuddles too close to Pickle, he gets so fussy about it. So I'm just waiting for the chaos to unfold. I'm just patiently waiting for all the rambunctious barking to happen. <laughs> Rocket. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started on how much I hate Rocket. Rocket was one of my very first starters. And I swear I could not get Rocket to leave my island. I literally built like terraform around Rocket's house and she escaped it. Me and Rocket, mm -mm. I do not like her. All right, I'm going to do, let's see, maybe another bush right there. Or should I do maybe a flower or a pumpkin? Maybe I should get some pumpkins out to plant. That probably would help. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I'm going to do several orange pumpkins. Lycol95, thank you so much, Addy. And thank you so much again, friends, for all the likes on today's stream. Thank you so much for all the lurkers, all the chatters. Y'all are the best. Like I said, I might be ending stream a little earlier today. I usually stream for three hours. We're at two right now. If this headache does not tone itself down, I'm <laughs> definitely going to go take a little bit of a nap and stuff. Hold on one second. Shiloh, what was that about? <laughs> Hold on, friends. Give me one second. I think my neighbor is like doing something on her wall because now my dog thinks that there's somebody outside. <laughs> She's like an old lady. What, what is she doing at her apartment at Party. like <laughs> if the if our old lady neighbor definitely had parties, I would be impressed. She's more social than me. <laughs> oh my gosh, the hippo is awful. Agnes, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome in. I might do like the pumpkin field overgrown and rural. Like have a few pumpkins going this way. Like this could be pumpkins right here, maybe. Let me see. And then do a couple of pumpkins like right here. You see what I mean? Like I'm thinking about spreading out the pumpkins like this. And then having a villager like right there. I think that would be cute. Yes, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go get a hot bath for sure. All right, let me see. I'm thinking if it's allergy related, all I need to do is go get a nice cozy bath in. That will help. 
and a big old glass of water. All right, let me fill these in with pumpkins. And then in between each pumpkin, we can do like weeds and stuff and trees, like stunted trees. All right, there we go. Yes, the YouTube has been really bad lately with this new feature that they have done. And it's like putting ads into your streams. I did turn it off because it does cause a lot of disruptions. So it's, it's not me. It's just YouTube. But one of my streamer friends, she said that it's like a new feature that they're doing. And it's like been interrupting streams a lot more. Like a lot of people are mad about it. Oh my gosh. I don't like Klaus either. That's another villager that I don't care for. <laughs> all right. Let me fill all this in and then we can water these pumpkins. So this will be the pumpkin field. And then I'm trying to decide if I do the castle gates this way. Or if I do it, but if I did the castle gates this way, I could do almost like a farm like thing right here with them. But I'm kind of tempted to do it this way. Y'all give me a second. Hold on. Sorry, my dogs, I swear they know when I'm trying to do something. They're being so crazy. I do like lemons, yes. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do the other. Where is my other castle gate? I know I have one. There it is. <laughs> yes, Brick, I'm very picky with my villagers. Okay, you're calling me out. I have a problem. Just very picky with my villagers. Okay, so I am thinking that this can be the overgrown pumpkin field. This can be part of like the way you can transition into maybe my castle. But you see, I'm torn because does it make sense flow wise? You know, that's like the biggest thing that I'm trying to decide on because I feel like well, I guess this could be all spooky forest over here. And this can help kind of transition to one side of the castle. I think it should work. If I can like get more natural landscape in, I think it should be okay. Lionel, oh my gosh, I don't like him. Is that the toilet lion? The toilet lion drives me insane. Steven loves him. Honestly, I mean, I do agree that I'm shocked that they didn't do it sooner, but it's like catching everybody off guard, you know? I don't know if they're trying to do what Twitch has. Doesn't Twitch do like ads on their streams? But it's like a new feature that I'm really unsure about. Cause like, if I'm not streaming, there will be ads on it when the stream's like off, like not live, it'll be like a video. But them doing like in the middle of your stream is kind of like disruptive. Chops, oh my gosh. Chops is another villager that I despise. You don't like the hamsters? I love the hamsters. Okay, the only hamster that I really, really like though is Flurry. I think Flurry is so cute. But I really like her. Okay, let me see how wide I want this. Okay, so do we like the idea of the pumpkin patch being right here? Or do we go with a different idea? I think that the pumpkin patch could be pretty cute over here, especially if we overgrown it, like with weeds and stuff. But I mean, I'm very unsure. What do I do below this? Oh, yeah, the Hero Wars ads are awful. <laughs> Your favorite hamster is Rodney. Of course it is. Of course it is. I guess I could keep this natural and do like an incline over here. Maybe I could do like an incline that would go up to the pumpkin patch. So it gives you another way to access it. 
I think this should be cute. I think if I overgrow like all the weeds around here, I think it'll be cute. Um, let me get some more medieval items. Hold on. There we go. One second. So are we on board with the black castle items? I think we are. I think we agreed that we like these. The squirrels are awesome. Okay, I'm actually quite obsessed with the media walls. I'm trying to figure out the layout right now, so this is not like an actual build yet. But I'm thinking if I could do something, let's see, like this. Hold on. I might have to fix up what I have going on right here. Like shrink it down a smidge is what I'm trying to say. But I'm thinking this could be part of it. I need to get also the castle tower. The toilet lion. Honestly, I would take toilet lion over Rodney any day. Any day. I just do not like Rodney. <laughs> Els is over here gonna be out for me now because Els loves Rodney. I do love the bunny villagers. Oh man, the bunny villagers are so cute. Bunny is like the best rabbit villager besides Coco. I love Coco. Coco is like my top favorite villager. Steven always makes fun of me because he says that she looks like you're trying to or she's gonna steal your soul. <laughs> But I think she's a misunderstood sweetheart. She's always like reading and stuff. She's just so sweet. Isn't Lionel the toilet lion? Oh, I don't like him. He's so gross. <laughs> yes, Coco is so sweet. All of the bunny villagers are honestly really cute. Except Gaston. I don't like him. He's awful. Like my daughter is obsessed with Gaston. Coco is terrible. <laughs> I understand she's not for everybody. I'm over here like roasting all these villagers and I'm I love one of the most despised of villagers. <laughs> bon Bon I don't like she has like crazy eyes to me. Coco is definitely creepy cute. She's just my spooky little girl. I love her. She's a misunderstood baby. I will give her all the love. <laughs> Gaston is so silly. I don't like him, but my daughter loves him. You want to know what another villager my daughter's been obsessed with, too? She says there's a villager named Ursula. Is that right? But she's like always talking to like this Ursula villager. At least that's what she says on her switch. That's like her other favorite villager. Sasha is very cute. Okay, so I think... I will do another castle gate. Where is it? Like right here. Oops. There we go. And then a castle tower. Isn't Lionel the toilet lion? Am I remembering correctly? Cause I'm pretty sure it is, but a lot of people don't like him. Pico, oh my gosh, I just love her. Yeah, she's so cute. What kind of storefronts would match this? I feel like the brown storefronts would look the best. Let me get it. Cause like the other ones are just too colorful. But I am planning to use these. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna do those. That's really cute. Let me push this one right there. I am thinking this is gonna be like part of the layout. So I'll need to extend the terraform out a little bit, but I'm thinking that can be part of where like the castle starts and this will lead you somewhere into the village. Like I really want the castle to kind of be geared towards like the center of my map and then everything else is natural. So I think this should be a cute layout. I love Coco. See, thank you. Coco's cute. Okay. She's a cutie. Um, all right, I'm going to do 
like natural dirt path right there. I do like Norm, uh, Norma too. Norma is really cute. The normal villagers in general are really big sweethearts. All right, y'all give me one second. I'm gonna take a drink of my water real fast. Dottie is a really cute villager. Okay, okay, so Ursula is a villager. Okay, so yeah, she is obsessed with her. She's always like belly laughing when she's playing Animal Crossing. She's like, Ursula is my favorite villager. But it's like, I wasn't sure if it was a legit villager because my daughter has made up names for certain villagers. So I don't know what is legit sometimes. But um, yeah, she loves that villager. She's like always laughing and like hanging out with Ursula. She's like, I'm, I'm hanging out with Ursula today. <laughs> Coco is very normal. Stop. She's such a cutie pie. You're wrong. You're so wrong. <laughs> She's not for everybody. I, I understand. Just know that you're wrong, Brick. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to do the dirt right there. Oh, wait. Oops. That's not the right piece. Dirt right here. Breaking that up a little. And then pushing this down right there. We're gonna pull these up to about right here so the dirt is all covered. No problem, Addy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Get some good sleep. All right. Then we're gonna do dirt right here. So this is actually gonna transition into brick. So it's not gonna be super pretty looking right here because the castle stuff is gonna be on top of it. So just know that it will look better in a second. Where is my pathing? Is this the sides? I think it is. This is where the pathing is gonna start, right there. Hey, Shanana, welcome in. My day is going pretty good. I've been fighting with a migraine for like all of stream today. So besides that, I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to definitely take a bath when stream is over and give my head like a little bit of a break. I want to play some paleo tonight. So this headache got to go. It's got to go. So I'm going to try to take a bath and get a big old glass of water and dim the lights and just kind of give my brain a break for a little because I want to grind some paleo later. All right, let's see. I'm going to push this actually back to about right there. So this is going to be like some of the city, but I don't really know what I'm going to do over here yet. But I just know that I wanted it to transition to part of the castle town. Oh my gosh, Lucky is such a cutie pie. I love him. He's so cute. And then this can be the pumpkin field area. Should I do a villager right here or should I just kind of keep it natural? I think doing a villager could be really cute. Like if I extended this out a little bit, I could do almost like a little barn. Yeah, Coco is so cute. I need a Coco um, plushie. I don't know how I feel about Bon Bon. I'm not really like a fan of Bon Bon. Yeah, not not every game is for everybody, Parker. It does happen. Like one of my friends is obsessed with Dinkum and I just, no matter how much I try, I can't get into it. Some games just don't stick. Same for me with another game too recently that I played, but I keep, I'm having a brain fart. Can't remember what it is. But um, Jet wants me to play Dinkum and give it a chance again. So I might do it eventually. Good night, Kyle. Good night, good night. Paley is free, so that is awesome. You won't be out any money if you don't like it. I need to look at Bon Bon again. Isn't she like this gray bunny? Or am I thinking about somebody else? 
All right. <laughs> one of my friends. <laughs> one of my friends, not Jet, might be Jet. Jet wants me to play Dinkum so bad. It's like, I don't know if I can get into it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's do Medieval Wall again over here. I love Coco. Me too. Like, I wish that there was more, like, demos for certain games. She's brown with gold hair. Okay, I think I know who y'all are talking about. I don't know how I feel about her. All right, let me do a storefront right here so I can just see. We will be finishing up, though, in a few minutes because this headache is really just kicking my, my butt. And I don't want to, like, be miserable. But we still had a really productive stream. And I at least got a layout plan. So what I can do is probably in the next day or so, I'll get y'all out a video because I'm going to be grinding this off camera too. But I will record the pumpkin field probably for a video. I need to get this done. Like we need to get lots done so we can make this island released technically in nine days, which seems unrealistic, but trust me, I can definitely get it done. Where's my other castle tower? I need to fill in that gap, but I need y'all to give me some ideas on what we should do in this little castle part. Let me see, hold on. But I'm thinking this is gonna be the main layout. Hold on, let me show y'all. This isn't like a transitional castle spot, but I want this to be kind of like a farm area. So imagine this with like a bunch of weeds and stuff and pumpkins everywhere. I think this is a really cute little transition so far, but I think that's gonna be my plan. And then today we also worked on, where is it? We also worked on over here and did Wolfgang's house. So I got that done. I wish I would, I could have gotten a little bit more done today on stream, but I'm just feeling really icky friends. It's like getting miserable. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream. Cause I don't want to like feel yucky, but if I'm in the mood tomorrow or not tomorrow, um, what is today? Today is Friday. So I will try to get another stream in in the next like couple of days or so, but expect another video. So I'll try to get a video out by tomorrow so we can do our pumpkin field and stuff. So before we go, let me see who we can raid. Thank you so much, Lucinda. That means a lot, friend. That really does. Thank you again too, by the way, friends, for all the likes on today's stream, all the new members and all the super chats. Me too. I'm going to go take a bath literally right when we get done raiding because I want to play Paleo Mayo. I want to play Paleo with y'all. So I'm going to go take a bath right when stream is over. Somebody? I already picked somebody. Aww, he's he's right Hold on one second. All right. Sorry. Um, let me see, get the link so we can go raid. Um, who is live? There was a couple of people live that I want to go raid. Let's see. Hold on, friends. I don't see Jersey live. Is Jersey live? Jersey is live. We can go raid Jersey. Let's do it. I didn't realize Jersey was live. Okay, hold on. Let's go show some horrible gaming love to Jersey. And by the way, y'all, like I said, I'm gonna get a video out tomorrow of our pumpkin field. So I will have that video ready to go for us um, in the next day or so. And then we'll do another stream. If I can do another stream on Sunday, we will probably do that because we have so much we need to get done. So it'll probably be a nighttime stream. So we'll be working on this island again. Thank you so much, Irish lady. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've just been feeling so icky the last few minutes. And it's like, I'd rather 
end stream on a good note. You feel miserable. Hey, Jet, will you copy and paste Jersey's stream for me just in case mine gets messed up? If you're new here, it would mean the world to me if you could do hashtag horrible gaming raid in the chat. And I will see y'all over on the, the stream for Jersey Games. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart for such a wonderful stream. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Let's cross our fingers for another Animal Crossing stream on Sunday. Like I said, I have to get this island done literally in nine days. <laughs> so we're going to be really busy. Um, hold on one second. Um, by the way, Jersey stream also has subscribers only. So when you have to raid, um, if y'all aren't sub to them, you'll have to be able to type that in the chat. That's one of our, hold on one second. I'm talking to Steven. Alrighty friends. Give me one second. Posting another link. Okay. We should be good to go. So I'm going to try to get that video out. Today's Friday. I'm going to try to get that video out to y'all by tomorrow on Saturday for the rural pumpkin field. Then I'm going to think either Sunday or Monday we will do our next Animal Crossing stream. Because we have a lot we need to get done. But again, thank you so very much for all the support today. Thank you for a wonderful stream. And I'll see y'all very, very soon.